Hi, I'm Engineer Hoist, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers game, Transformers Earth Wars, available on iOS and Android. It's a pretty cool game. It's based on the tower defense games, similar to Clash of Clans, uh, except it's got a distinctly Transformers feel. Where you can choose your side, Autobots or Decepticons, and you get characters uh, based on which side that you get. And when you battle, Autobots obviously attack Decepticons, and vice versa. Now, similar to those other games, there's a lot of waiting involved and a little bit of action here, a little bit of action there. But it's nice because while you have that downtime, you can still go do other things that you want to do in your life, such as play with your Transformers figures or make videos or do other things like eat, sleep, and have a social life. Um, but you can always set yourself up to have a notification to let you know when you've got your fuel cells ready so that you can go and start attacking more bases and, oh, we've got one right now. It's ready to go. Let's take a look at it. Oh, they're asking us if we want to get a BuildBot bundle. You can always get those if you want to spend a little bit of money. Um, certainly not a requirement for this game. You get do an awful lot without having to spend any money. Um, so anyway, here's my base. I, I always tap on the resources because I'm just obsessive about that. Anytime those things pop up, I, I, I tap on them even though I know they build up. Uh, now you can see all, all the uh, items here. They've got the little, they're, they're glowing. They've got a the little arrow. They're saying I can upgrade them but uh, I'm saving my resources to build a beam laser to increase my defenses because I've lost the last three, I think, defenses with this current layout. Uh, so, uh, so and, and let's see, we've got, uh, let's take a look at the overview. So we've got the arc up over here in the top left there. That's, that's pretty cool. And uh, you go around, you've got a nice river flowing through the dam and overall. But the main focus is around here and the place where your uh, jet and all that, that's obviously the place where, as you'll see in the battle, that's where the other people can come in and deploy their bots and they come in from basically the bottom. So, let's see, we've got the, <clears throat> got the space bridge, <laughs> the space bridge over here in the left and the research where you can increase the maximum abilities of your bots because they do max out at 10 and then you can go into the research and increase them to where they have a max of 20 and then eventually they'll max out there and you can increase them from there but you have to have a certain level of base and so on and so forth but almost all of this stuff can be done with uh, just time, effort, and patience. Yeah. Um, so there you go. But anyway, I need to increase, get some resources, so let's go ahead and go battle down here in the right-hand corner. Autobots, roll out! And I'm going to go attack a rival player because that's where you tend to get them the most uh, because of the abilities. They suggest that I go in this battle zone here, zone three. Don't ever overstretch yourself. Go with the one that you can be almost a certainty of getting a win to if you need the resources. Uh, I mean, don't go too small. Like if, I, if they're suggesting me zone three, I don't want to go zone one yet. But anyway, so I've got Optimus Prime, Ironhide. I want to uh, switch out. I'm going to use Dust Up. And instead of Storm Clash, I'm going to do Firefly because these are my... Uh, Three star bots, and I want to increase their their skills a little bit. And so I'll hit battle, and then we'll go. And there's Grumpy Megatron. That face makes me laugh. He's got such a strong frown. I know other people have commented on it for, but it's it's kind of funny. Okay, so now here we are. They gave us to Shockwave, who's in the Alliance, the Cons. And looking up at the top left, you can see I stand to win 24 medals, or if I lose, I lose five. So this is actually pretty good for me. It means it also means he's probably more powerful than not what I am. Um, but if I win, I could win that amount of alloy and energon up there in the top left. Now, as you can see, when you first are presented here, the timer doesn't start. So 
always uh, zoom in a little bit take a look at what they've got look for their strongest weapons that's going to be your mortar over there or the beam laser I'm lucky here because his beam laser is still being built so that's not an issue so what I'm going to do is I've got my aerial bots first thing I'm going to do once I deploy them I'm going to go and send them on a strike to blow up that mortar and then you can also tap on each of the different uh, weapons to see what their ranges are like you can see these the laser turrets have fairly small ranges so if I so I want to attack from the left and they're not going to be an issue until I get right up on the headquarters so that's what I'm going to do and uh, so far I've been pretty successful just deploying everybody all at once and then you tap on your special abilities tap on the thing that you want to target there we go and now the mortar is not a concern yeah but I still have some special abilities available I'm going to use dust up to send a cluster strike over at this cannon over here it's not going to take it down but it will weaken a lot of things over in that area and I might even just go ahead and send an airstrike oh. Okay, see, and, and now the thing that annoys me is they don't always necessarily go straight for the headquarters, although they, they do seem to be doing that right now. Um, oh, look, we've got uh, Breakdown is the gunner. So we're going to send an airstrike. He's out of the picture now. And there we're going. And we don't, don't really need to take out this other weapon because I think we'll get the headquarters without taking it out. But I'm going to send, send an airstrike over there knock it down a little bit. Oh, see, you killed Prime. And see, why are these other guys sitting over here destroying all this other stuff? We just need to go get the uh, headquarters. I'm going to send uh, Ironhide to go take out the, finish this cannon. And see, and now the other guys are at the headquarters. There we go. Victory is assured. There we go awesome that's a pretty good haul it is over finished nice firmanism and see optimus primes at the max level oh we've got a couple of bots at their max level so that means i need to go and uh do some do some research to upgrade them because otherwise they you know any more battles that i take them in they weren't earning any uh extra points and see and it's telling me that that's where I need to go tap uh, for Optimus Prime but also for uh, Dust Up and Firefly uh, so so we can go do that it says I've got four bots that need research tap on there and you can see it shows Optimus Prime Firefly Dust Up and the fourth one is a one star Ironhide which I don't really use because I've got the two star up there who's pretty powerful and I don't want to waste my energy on to upgrade that guy since I never use him so we'll go ahead and throw Firefly in there so we can see how to do it. You can improve his special ability. And that requires Energon and also things called Sparks, which you can get if you end up getting a duplicate bot from a crystal or by having one of your alliances uh, win an alliance war. Um, otherwise, you can hit research to increase the level to cap 20. And you can see he requires 9400 Energon, and I, I have that. But that would put me even farther away from getting my beam laser. So I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. Because I've got other bots that I can use that uh, still have some room to grow. Like Ironhide, Jetfire, Silverbolt, Stormclash. All, all these other guys uh, trying to uh, beef up like Jumpstream and Prowl. Get get them a little bit stronger. Uh, so, it, cause I can, so I can have a... A secondary team because if we see if we want to go into battle again I'm not gonna do that just yet but you have to kind of wait because it takes time for your bots to recharge to see you know dust up and firefly they're not very powerful yet so they're ready already but Jetfire and Ironhide still have a minute to go and Optimus Prime has f almost six minutes left to go before he's even ready to go so if you're just relying on one team you're gonna be waiting and waiting but if you have a, a secondary team that you can go you can swap out your characters and go and attack a lot sooner so I think that's a good plan to have and I just realized that so I'm gonna start working on that 
Um, but uh, so for now, I just need to go do some more battles, get some energon, and get a beam laser to beef up my defenses, and then I should be uh, pretty good to go. And anyway, I think this is a great game, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And if you haven't tried it, go get it. It's on iOS and Android. And uh, so I'm Engineer Hoist, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.